Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a shave with a brand new razor that's about to drop from Aylesworth Razors, and that is the Apex, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is John, AKA Ladder Hog. I have the honor of bringing you a shave with the new Apex stainless steel double edge safety razor from Ailsworth Razors. And let's just get it out in front. This razor was sent to me earlier in the month of November to test out, to put through, you know, the daily grind and really get to know this razor. So this is not a first impressions video. I've had a number of shaves with the Apex. And because I got the Apex early, it was a gift. I did receive it for free, but all thoughts and opinions in this video are my own. And just because I got this razor for free, I'm not going to make up an opinion on it, just to steer it a certain way. You're going to get my real honest thoughts and opinions as always. All right, so now that we've got the disclosure out of the way, you might be familiar with Aylesworth Razor's other offerings. They have the Dracon in both stainless steel and titanium. The stainless steel Dracon also comes with three different plates, the standard, the plus, and the open comb. And there's also an offering in in brass called the copper con. So as far as artisan razor makers go, those are kind of like the three kind of very common, very popular materials to release razors in. Aylesworth certainly has a certain style. Well, I'm not sure the inspirations off the top of my head, they're always very eye-catching. And the previous handle for the Dracon reminds some people of a grenade pattern. This one, it does look like a weapon of some sorts, so that, that, that might be a, a bit of a theme, uh, kind of hearkening to Caleb's uh, video game design background, and I'm here for it. And a quick look at the top cap. We're taking a pretty quick look today, I just really want to show you a shave with this guy. I almost forgot to mention the packaging. Now, I took a photo of it, not any video footage, but you can see here all of Aylesworth razors when you order for them directly come wrapped beautifully. Uh, I mean, it's really something uh, to make it special. And then here in the bathroom with me, I do have the Ellsworth box. And once opened, you can see there's a business card here, but also a foam insert for razor stand, if you get a stand, and some razor blades as well. So very nice packaging. I know this doesn't affect the shave, but um, when you're you know, buying something a little nicer, something over the $100 USD mark, uh, I think it's it's appropriate to have packaging that reflects that you're paying more. It's a luxury item. Yes, there are cheaper razors out there, but you went for something with some either nicer materials or nicer design. So uh, if that's a factor, and I know for a lot of you out there who are hobbyists, it does matter. Uh, this is definitely some great packaging coming from Aylesworth. Now I'll share with you more of the specs in just a little bit, but a quick roundup of what we're using today. For the shave, I have loaded the Apex with a Gillette Silver Blue Blade already in the razor. And for the software today, we're going to go with, from Declaration Grooming, Opulence. And I don't have the set notes uh, written down right now, but I'll put them in post-production so you guys can see. This one is a dupe or a clone of Parfums de Marley Layton, one of my all-time favorite scents. This does a great job capturing that cologne. And kind of prominent notes are apple and sandalwood to my nose. Very easy to like, easy to wear. I think it's one that pulls compliments if that's your thing and why you choose scents. But personally, I really like the scent and other things that kind of smell like Layton. So going with Opulence, both the Shave Soap, which is in Decoration's Milk Steak formula, as well as the matching aftershave splash here. And last but not least, we have the Shave Brush. I thought since we're going with the Declaration set, let's go with the Declaration Brush. So here we go with a Nebula Pour with a B3 Badger Knot. And I think the shape here is the Washington. It's a little shorter, not as long as the popular Jefferson shape. So we got a lot of Declaration Grooming stuff along with the shave. I'm working with five days worth of beard growth here. I think it's very apparent how much scruff we have. And we're gonna be taking that down in this video. And before we get much further, 
If you're enjoying this video, if you like videos about traditional wet shaving, then please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber to the Lather Hog channel. We have a goal before the end of the year of trying to reach 3,000 subs. We are at about 2,700 right now, and every little bit helps. It's a free and easy way to help support and grow the channel, and I want to thank you guys in advance. Alright, so here's some more details on the Apex Razor directly from Aylesworth. The Apex Razor is the newest three-piece design from Aylesworth Razors, packaged up in a rugged new look. It leverages everything we've learned to date in order to deliver a shave so efficient and smooth, it will leave you wondering just how we did it. The material is 316 stainless steel. The Apex is featured in a satin bead blast finish. It has a blade gap of 0.99 millimeters and blade exposure of 0.125 millimeters. The length of the razor is 3.5 inches and it has a weight of 106 grams. Some features include a native 30 degree angle, fully covered blade tabs, extra wide lather channels, invisible blade posts, best in class blade clamping, iconic Ellsworth top cap and handle, and luxury handmade packaging. Alright guys, so we have the lather formed here. I do have to note that it's not quite as uh, frothy, like it didn't really build too much uh, and I loaded heavily on the soap. The soap is about two years old, so uh, this wasn't the texture I was expecting. That being said, we're still going to move forward with the shave because we're too far into this thing. We got to do it. So. Here's the Apex Razor, again, loaded with a Gillette Silver Blue, and we won't do any talking so you can hear the audio feedback of this razor on the initial pass. All right, so you definitely got to hear the audio feedback in that first half pass with the grain. Uh, let me tell you that the efficiency on this razor is great. I think what it really does well is balance uh, low blade feel and moderate to high efficiency. So let's keep going. So I've gone about three or four shaves with this razor prior to today. In fact, when I traveled to New York to visit my family for Thanksgiving, this is the razor I brought. Both because I wanted to get more shaves with it before filming this video, but also I've been really enjoying the, the Apex Razor itself. And this might be a bold claim, but I kind of felt this way after my first shave with it. The Apex is going to replace the Dracant in my, in my rotation of razors that I like to use. And there will be a you know, top whatever razors, I don't know the exact number, you know, top 10, top five, somewhere in between uh, for 2023. And where the, the Dracant previously held the spot, I, I think that spot's gonna go to the Apex. So just up front, I really like the razor. And in my experience with these shaves thus far, I, I really do think that Aylesworth has incorporated um, you know, the, the comments of more efficiency, but trying to not add too much blade feel to the experience. And yeah, I think with the standard base plate up for both the Copper Con and the Dracon, I would say it's quite mild, which is, is great if that's what you're looking for, a mild razor. But what I liked about the Plus Plate was it increased the efficiency more. It also increased the blade feel. So what I think is happening here um, just as a quick comparison is you're getting the more efficient plus plate performance with the milder feel of the standard base plate. And I think with that combination kind of nailed down, I think this is going to be a great razor for a lot of you out there who have similar preferences. The Dracon Open Comb is still a super unique feeling open comb. It's a smooth open comb, probably the smoothest I've tried, and that one still has plenty of efficiency too. Uh, only thing with that is open combs kind of 
uh, are in a, in a side category by itself. So if I use the Tricont in the future, it's probably gonna be with that open comb plate because th that's how different it feels, um, especially in light of the Apex. Uh, anyway, we're done with the first pass here. Let me wash up and we'll keep on going. All right, going in for pass number two, and just like before, we'll do a pass with, just so you can hear the audio feedback of the against the grain shave. Here we go. Funny enough, I think the with the grain pass might have been a bit louder, maybe because there's mo more hair to mow down at that time. But there you go, that, that gives you an idea. The angle is very easy to find on this. It's not requiring anything particular or special of you. I do think this is one of those, you can go on autopilot if you like. And if, you know, wet shaving is part of your daily routine that Kind of gives you a time for meditation, your zen moment, if you will. This is definitely a razor that can get you there. But also will not have any problem with either coarse beard hair or multi-days worth of growth. Also, just the, the weight and the feel of the razor. Granted, you know, there's, diff there's different designs, but it very much handles like the Tricont razor for those of you that have it. It's got some heft to it, and I like that. Um, I have mentioned before, I'm not the biggest fan of aluminum razors, where I think they're a little too light for me. I do like titanium, but I don't have tons and tons of titanium razors because they do cost a pretty penny. But as far as stainless steel razors go, this one's a great one. And you know what? I just realized, even though I shared specs with you already, uh, I don't have the price of the razor at the time of recording, but if it is shared with me, if I'm able to get that info, I'll put it in right here, because I know that's a huge factor. And I think we're gonna stick with a two pass shave today. Really the efficiency on this thing is so impressive. Really digging it, in case you couldn't tell. So we're gonna rinse up and apply the aftershave and we'll come back for some final thoughts. So we're done here with our two pass shave with the Aylesworth Apex uh, scent. Again, lovely scent. Uh, lather wise for, for, the, for opulence, even though it didn't quite build as much as I thought, we did fine. It's you know, plenty slick, protective and whatnot. So maybe it was a fluke, who knows. So opulence, a great scent. Dupe of Layton by Parfums de Marley. Let's get to the final thoughts on the Apex razor here. I think they've done a great job with the Apex. I, I really do think having shaved regularly with the Tricont stainless steel that the improvements said were made, uh, it, it keeps a very mild feel. So if you don't like blade feel, you want low blade feel, but you want more efficiency, more than maybe a starter razor like a Biley or Mercur you know, 34C or uh, Edwin Jagger DE89. This certainly kicks that up a notch. Now, some comparisons, uh, what this kind of shaves like, and for the Rockwell, I would say this is much better efficiency than even the six plate. It actually has, again, low, has lower blade feel, less blade feel than the six plate, and more efficiency. It would probably be uh, maybe like an R8 plate or something like that. As far as like another Canadian razor maker carve where this goes on, it, that, it might be a little harder to place because I think the higher base plates like the D, E, or F, I think the, the Christopher Bradley in particular is just a very unique razor. So I'm kind of not wanting to compare it because it, it just doesn't feel the same. But based on efficiency alone, I'm gonna put this around probably the E plate uh, I, I'm not super familiar with the F plate or it's been years since I tried it. It's gonna be around the E and compared to the Carve Overlander, that's my personal favorite from Carve, I would say this is probably more efficient and 
similar blade feel as the as the Overlander. Um, both are beautiful razors. That actually might be worth a future shootout between the Carb Overlander and the Aylesworth Apex. So if that's something you wanna see, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions at all about the Apex, if this is on your radar, let me know. Lo would love to help you out and figure out if this is the right razor for you. Well, that's gonna do it for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found the information in this shave helpful. I really appreciate your support, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care now. If you guys wanna catch some other videos about safety razors, here's some additional ones that you can click on and check out.